XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Audra at Home is filmed in front of a live Pitbull audience. Good morrow and merry meet. My name is Audra and you are in for a treat. All right, today, as many of you may know, I am uh, way into movies and media and all of that good stuff. And so I thought I would get ready because I, I think I'm gonna be filming another video after this. So I thought I'd get ready. And uh, I did, I, I found, look at this. This little Profusion palette, I found it was $7 at Walgreens. And I was like, eh, fuck it. Because it had all these colors and um, it's a almost exclusively has one shimmer. They are mowing, by the way. They are mowing and I'm still gonna film. You know why? Because I want to. That's what we're, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna show it to you with the plastic on. I'm gonna have to try to take it off. But it's almost entirely a matte palette and I'm for that because I have so many shimmers and I thought this would be a great time to kind of show off some of my glam shop shimmers. And let me know if you want me to do a live, like kind of playing with them and talking about my, well, I'm probably going to, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm like, it does, but it doesn't. Like I'm more than likely gonna talk about it anyway. And then this is it with the plastics off. And thank you to Amber BT Dubs, who was like really kind enough to let me know, like, hey, we can't really see what everything looks like, because I wouldn't think about that, because I, I wasn't looking. I try not to stare at the viewfinder, because I don't want people getting mad at me, so that's it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, get ready. We're gonna talk about some of the things that I've watched on Netflix, or some of even some of the internet news that's just been around. It's gonna be a media video, media blitz, if you will. Just a side note, some of these things will in fact be linked in the description below, as you know that these things are affiliate links and they do earn me what a small commission, which I do what with, put it back into the channel. Moving on, let's get started, because I'm super excited. Also, why are these so big today? I don't know, who cares? All right, so first up, I want to talk about the Kissing Booth 3, because, <laughs> wow, wow, uh, what a letdown. Here's my problem. The Kissing Booth 2 and 3, if they just removed like all of the montages, then they could have just made like one one movie. It, just, it should have just been like Kissing Booth 2 and like sans the montages. Because I swear, like, and I, I guarantee you somebody out there is probably working on this as we speak, but if you take out the montages in, in like 2 and 3, like these movies were so long and for like no reason. and. I, what really kills me is they were super de duper long and I was like, why is this so long? And they had no answers, you know what I mean? Like, as usual, they had no answers for what was, it's just like, you made this really long and the thing was they would montage all of this stuff and then they would like kind of, uh, in some way, make us watch, <laughs> make us watch like just the most inane dialogue uh, ever. Also, I really, really want to talk about how fucking annoying it was that um, the lead actresses, I can't remember her name, we're gonna pop it in here somewhere, but the lead actress, her wig was atrocious and you become extremely aware of how fucking awful that wig was when they show her real hair. Like it already looked bad, right? You were, always, you were already sitting there like, but <laughs> you really see how absolutely terrible it is when they just have a real hair. And I just, my thought process was like, things have changed, like time is moving. She could have gotten a haircut. Like y'all could have really just let her have her real hair and then just styled it more mature when she's like older her. And like, this is the problem that I have with it, right? If, spoilers, BT dubs, if you didn't know. I'm gonna come in closer in a second. Just like, let me, let me get there. But here's the thing, the problem I have with it is um, obviously you, you, they were gonna do a whole thing where they you know, matured them, blah de doo, good, good for them, whatever. Whatever it is that they wanna do, it's their movie, right? But my issue is going to come in a very specific problem. It's like, if you're, like there were so many things where I was just like, why are you in, forcing their like childhood rules still. Like it feels like after the kissing booth one, they really should have thrown those rules out, right? Right, like that makes sense. Like why the fuck, like it caused so many problems for you. 
it, like in the first movie. Why do you still have this as a thing? Like why? Why are you still like rule number 17? Like shut up. <sighs> I drink loads of water, my eyes are still red. Just let me live my life, thank you. But here's where my issue comes in is I'm just like, they keep these rules, these like arbitrary bullshit rules that were written when they were like seven and like they just never seem to grow up past that. And on top of that, it's like nobody's learning anything at all. Cause you know, in Kissing Booth one, old girl, we're gonna call her old girl. No, we're not. I'm gonna go look up her name. Give me a sec. Elle, her name is Elle, lead person. In, in Kissing Booth one, Elle obviously makes a ginormous mistake when she and Noah start dating, who Noah is just like the volatile white guy. He's a big dude who plays, oh Jesus, every time. I'll be back. All right, we have returned from dropping things, but she ends up like Mr. Giant Lacrosse Noah, who is like so hot, bruh. Like he, <laughs> she's dating him and she's been dating him in secret from Lee, her, who is her like male best friend. He's like goofy and whatever. And I feel like there's a huge part of this where like nobody seems to think that their relationship is like, it's very toxic. Like I really, the real toxic relationship in this is like her friendship with Lee because she just like, they refuse to grow the fuck up. Like it's like, oh, we have to go to college together. Like bro, you're, you're adults. Like that was cute when you were 17 and you didn't know what you want to do and like all of these things. That was an adorable way to behave. But like now you're 18 years old. It's time to like let go of this idea that you have to go to college together. So like the fact that from the first movie, I'm gonna jump around, but from the first movie, the fact that she quite literally like kept the secret and it busted up their friendship for a while because he was like, I can't believe you're dating my brother. You're not supposed to do that. And I honestly don't know why because it's not like he secretly liked her, which honestly, that's a thing that I'm glad that they didn't have in there because that shit fucking really irritates me when they try to have like the weirdo person, the weird guy in the corner pining for the girl. Cause it's like, no, can we please have some representation of like what it's supposed to look like when you um, are interested in a woman and you are a man? Like, can we please have good representation there? Can we please have a man that has maturity enough to say, I like you a lot. Thank you. I like you a lot, a lot, and I want to date you. So I'd appreciate it if you let me know. Do you feel the same? Okay, so that's where I am with that. Ooh, bitch. Oh my God, shit's about to pop off. I'm so sorry. These Glam Shop shadows are fucking stunning. Like, look at this. This is a mess. You, like, even if you can't, oh my God, look at it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Back to the movie. Uh, and so I just felt like, Ooh, it's very, this one's very, very chunky. And that's why I didn't put my makeup on first. Any who's it. So I just really thought like, this is super immature. Like that this is what they're still doing. Like, I feel like if you're going to advance a story like and have Elle grow up or in some ways and other ways, not so much, but if you're going to do that, then like actually do that. Please stop half-assing this because you would think that at this point they would be like, you know what? We need to get rid of our childhood rules or whatever. And like in this one, it's, you know, best summer ever bullshit. And I'm like, Jesus, take the wheel. Like, I just, I don't like, like, oh my gosh. Cause like they're moving, they're selling the beach house or some shit. And because they're selling the beach house, like the parents are selling the beach house because they're doing that. Like there's, gonna spend their last summer ever at the beach house, babes. And we're gonna have parties and a good time. And now also we're gonna like remind you that Elle is poor. Like they do this <laughs> in each movie, remind her, like remind you, like remember Elle's broke, Lee's rich. And they end up having some fight about rich and poor at some point. And I don't care about it because it's stupid because Lee is a prick. I would not be his friend. I'm so sorry. Like I would have dumped him as a friend a long time ago. Cause it, I would have dumped him the second he was mad that I was dating my brother. Cause I'd be like, if your bitch ass ain't trying to date me, you need to shut the fuck up. So anyway, <laughs> 
Like I would have got real, real on him, like real, real fast. Been like, sir, what we're not gonna do is tell me what to do, okay? We're not doing that. This isn't the game we're playing today. Have a good day, like leave me alone. I'm going to see who, what I want to see. So I need you to back up off me. So any who's it's, um, you have this like, side like and there's a bunch of random side plots like they bring back the hot latino guy and i don't know why they brought him back it was just like it seems like they just brought him back for conflict and i was like uh, like i just felt like they could have left him out of it period like why bring him back into this so that like we could have like a conflict that shouldn't be there you know, and like Noah being mad again. They also brought back the token attractive black girl from England. And it was just like one of those things where I was just like, why are you bringing these people back into the story? Like, I felt like their storylines were wrapped up and it was just like they brought them there so that they could have conflict. And the real conflict needed to be Elle going to college and trying to make the choices of like where it was that she wanted to go, like was she gonna go and follow her heart and um, do the dumb thing and go with her boyfriend to college who, you know, okay. Cause this boy is talking about like, we should get an off campus apartment. Like baby, why are you talking about moving in together? Like I'm 18, <laughs> like I just, <laughs> my dad is not gonna go for that. Like my dad doesn't even want to know that you're fucking, you're banging me. Like my dad's not gonna be chill with me going off to Harvard. And then be like, oh, don't worry. I'm moving in with my giant boyfriend, Noah. Okay, anyways. Um, and then, or is she gonna go to college with Lee? And it should have been about her growth and her like becoming a full fledged adult. Like, and it wasn't, it just got really weird and started to be a lot about like, all these random side plots. And again, they threw those in t for runtime. I really feel like they threw all those run, those, those like little situations in for runtime. I found it annoying and obnoxious. I was like, baby, can y'all please stop doing this? Like, I really need you to, to quit it. I'm sorry, that's an annoying noise. I apologize. Um, so the whole thing, you know, ends up with like, everybody breaks up, it feels like, like, um, Lee breaks up with his girlfriend. Obviously, Elle and Noah break up. And then they do like this fast forward through time, like t t t seven years later. I can't remember the time frame. It was, it's irrelevant. And then it's, you, you've watched all three of these movies, if you're me, and you just can't let it go. Um, <laughs> you've literally watched all three of these movies for these hoes to end it in the most ambiguous way possible. Like, it's fucking ambiguous. Like, do they get back together? We don't know. We don't know. They don't really tell you. They don't, they, they're like, we'll just leave it up to you, <laughs> the viewer. No, stop doing that. First of all, this is a romance, okay? I just need to, I cannot stress enough how like movies and like need to understand that this is not a book, okay? Because in a book, you can kind of, um, it doesn't even matter. But in a book, you can, you know, have a good epilogue where it shows that like, you know, they're together, bloop, blah, bloop, right? And that makes sense. That's, that's beautiful and lovely. And you're like, yes, bitch, make this happen. I'm so excited. That's like, that, that's the beauty of books. Uh, Cause they like, romance novels do that all the time. I would know, I was an avid consumer of Harlequin romance. That's right, avid. I absolutely, loved Harlequin romances. Like, oh, I would steal my mom's Harlequins like every, like all the time. She would finish one and then I would just be like right behind her snatching it up. And y'all, when I tell you I was like probably nine years old reading Harlequin romances, listen, don't come for me, okay? Thank you. I don't want to hear it. I don't need you in like, ah! my mom didn't know. I was like hiding them. I was hiding them so that she didn't know I was reading and at the time, I just read it for the love story part. Like I didn't, at that time, I didn't read the sex parts because I was like, I'm not supposed to have this anyway. And that's how much of a good kid I was. I'm like, I'm not supposed to have this anyway. Oop, they're doing the sexy thing, skip. But, um, <laughs> but this just like irritated me. I'm like, how did you have me watch all three, all three of these movies, all of them, with all the toxicity all of this shit, which I've become accustomed to in these types of movies, not saying it's right, but I'm accustomed to it, right? How did you have me read, like watch all of those and then end it ambiguously? <laughs> the ambiguously gay duo. Um, 
<laughs> it's just like boggled my mind. I was like, who thought this was a good ending? Like who? Like, oh, they see each other again and it's like, and then they're like looking at each other longingly and like kind of like the one that got away. And it's like, that's it. That's all we're gonna get. And then like them riding motorcycles. What? You mean to tell me I sat through six hours? Six hours of my life for you to not give me a happy, girl, bye, bye. So that was just terrible. I like, I hate people who do not understand how happy endings work and do not understand that like, they're like, well, it's like life, you know, life is not, yeah, no, no, my life is miserable enough. Thank you. I came here for fucking fantasy and a happy ending. Okay, done. Done. We're gonna calm down. I'm so sorry. I got I got a little I got I got overexcited. I apologize. Sorry I yelled at you. You didn't deserve that. Next up, we're going to uh, talk about the movie <laughs> He's All That with TikTok legend Addison Ray. Yeah, that's right, I did say that. Uh, so here's the thing. First of all, before people start coming for me, I did not know that that was Addison Ray. Okay? So I because I'm I'm old. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the thing people are forgetting. I'm old. Uh, <laughs> I my TikTok feed doesn't have her on it. You know, it like never had her on it because I'm old. So before people are like, you don't like this movie just because it stars Addison Rae. No, I was like, I looked at it and I was like, she looks vaguely familiar. And as you like, with, if you saw me on Twitter, within like seven minutes, I was like, oh my God, this is making me like feel uncomfortable. Like the movie was making me feel uncomfortable. Like immediately I was like, oh, I don't, I don't like this. This is terrible. Like this, the embarrassment, like, oof, it's, it's terrible. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, this is a horrible food. This is a horrible movie. This is awful. It's just terrible. The acting is bad. The storyline is bad. Like everything. The plot is paper thin uh, and it's terrible. But so let's get into it. We're going to talk about, um, the multiple ways in which this movie is terrible. So I, I met, just mentioned also spoilers, spoilers, but I just mentioned that like, uh, the plot is fucking paper thin. It's almost non-existent. Like, it just feels like they were like, yeah, we're gonna make he's all that, but make it social media. <laughs> and it was terrible. Here's the problem too. I feel like today, filmmakers do not understand how to incorporate social media into a story without making it fucking weird and cringy. Like they don't know how to do it without making it real, really cringe because like you, you're watching it and like they just have like so many, it's, 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 he's all that sponsored by Pizza Hut and TikTok. Like that's what's going on right now. And it's just very weird. You're like, uh, cause there's literally a part where they go, like the guy who's like the, who, who's now Lainey Boggs, he's Manny Boggs. <laughs> But like, that's not his name, but that's what we're gonna call him now. That's his name now. But like Manny is out with his friend who we're gonna call token Asian, you know, person. She's, uh, looks like she's Indian. Um, and you know, cause they have to, you know, be correct. And I'm like, okay. Um, please note that the people who kind of look a little exotic um, are the gay characters. So prepare yourself for that. That's that's a common thread. Please keep that in mind because like you go back, you, if you think I'm kidding, go back, go back, watch, okay? Watch movies where they have um, minorities and then they often have us be gay uh, so that they can involve us in any kind of storyline because they don't know what to do with minority characters if they're not suffering. So if they're not suffering, they're gay. Um, so, <laughs> But like they're at this pool party that um, Addison has invited them to. I don't know the character names. You all know this by now. And she's like, come to my pool party or somebody's pool party, who cares? So they go and uh, Manny and his Indian friend, female, go go there and he's, she's like, they say something about not bringing swimsuits. What I'm getting at is she's like, yeah, but I do like this free Pizza Hut pizza. Like says it, says it like that. Yeah, but I do like free Pizza Hut pizza. Like, like the fact that that was a joke 
if, was it 30 years ago? Oh my God, I'm so old. The fact that that was like an actual joke in a movie about product placement and like they're actually doing it like that now. Ugh, unconscionable, hurts my feelings every time. I was just like, and there's so many things that don't make sense. Like Addison goes up to do karaoke and then her um, male equivalent of popular girl Who's terrible, by the way. He's horrible. Um, he's a hor like the acting is terrible. Like everything he does is terrible. It's just like it hurts my feelings. Uh, this whole movie hurt my feelings. Um, but he shows up with his like his reality star, but really she's like a really big TikToker. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, and then like Addison's like losing her confidence singing, and then Manny jumps up on the stage and starts singing with her. The problem and they're like, singing Teenage Dream. Here's the problem. The sister of Manny, which is like the, she's the little brother now, but now it's a her, like gender bending. He <laughs> says that he listens to like Bad Religion, you know, like the, like any band with a with the name Bad in the title says this, right? So why does he know Teenage Dream? Like what, what kind of sense does that make? Why does he know the, like the words to it? And it doesn't look like they have like the actual karaoke thing up. You know, like the, it doesn't look like they have the screen up, but even if they do, it's like, that's not his music. Like, how does he know, like what, what? So it just doesn't even fit his character that he like goes up and like saves her from embarrassment from douche canoe. And so you had that aspect of it. For unknown reasons, Kourtney Kardashian is in it as like, I don't, I, I don't know if she's an influencer. Like, I don't know. It's awkward, and I think that it's weird as shit. Like, I'm sorry, I, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. My mom, <laughs> if, I, if it was a day, and I was, let's say 18, 17 years old, or 18 years old, my mom would be like, why are you talking to a, a, a 52 year old woman? I don't know how old she is, don't get mad at me. But my mom would be like concerned, like what's going on here? Why are you having, phone conversations with this, you know, crone. And crones are wonderful creatures, don't get mad at me. Uh, and so like, I, I, I don't get that. Like even when I was 18 and I was dating, a, 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 I guess it was dating, I don't know. I was young at the time, I didn't understand and I continuously rebuffed everybody's advances who tried to date me. I was like, oh, let's just hang out, don't kiss me, don't make it weird. Um, <laughs> I'm like, don't make it weird. I like hanging out with you, but like, mm -hmm. but, even then, my mom was like, um, Audra, he's in the military and he's 21. Like, I'm concerned. So like the fact that her mom, who's played by an underutilized uh, Rachel Lee Cook, doesn't have anything to say, not a word to say about the fact that like her daughter is in communications with a grown ass woman about like, Whatever the fuck it was. Who knows? Nobody was, I, I didn't get it. She, and every time she showed up, she was on an exercise bike. It was fucking weird. Like legit, just on an exercise bike. And I was like, okay, this isn't strange. Uh, all right. And then like the whole thing apparently is that like she's been misrepresenting herself on her TikTok. Like the other girl doesn't like her, like her equivalent of um, Paul. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But like the, the female Paul, she was like, um, okay. Like we know the truth about you that you're not rich. Here's where I get fucked up. Why, in 2021, <laughs> you were a high school student and you're a, you're a TikToker, right? And like everybody just, like nobody knows where you live. Like everybody's just like, oh, she said she's rich, so <laughs> she's rich. She lives in the Pacific Palisade. What? <laughs> like, did nobody ever go over to her house? Like, these are the things that I, I was just trying to grab. I'm like, why is this even in here? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, I'm just sitting there like. So like, because she's on TikTok, like, cause she, she, she was close, I feel like, to a million, a million followers on TikTok. So you would think, that some of these people, since everybody at this school is like TikTok obsessed, you would honestly think that at least like one of them like went by her house. You know what I mean? Like one of them, like like at least one or two people. Like there's middle schoolers. You know what I mean? Like people. You mean to tell me that at no point in time did anyone literally ever like go to her house? Like not one time. 
in high school, bitch. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't make any sense at all. I was like, okay, well, I guess we're just gonna make this weird. And they did, they did make it weird. And so I was like, Ugh. but the acting is terrible. And here's the thing, um, for her first movie, I really feel like if they want, like, here, first get get old girl a good get Addison a good acting coach please like if that's what you're gonna do if like if she really wants to be an actress like please get her an acting acting coach don't have her out here looking foolish she's young you know she's trying new things you know don't have her looking foolish as fuck like that's just I feel like that's mean spirited like that whoever her agent is like you are a mean son of a bitch how dare you do that like that is mean to her you left her out into the you like in the wind. Just looking ridiculous, you know what I mean? She just looks ridiculous. Her acting's not good, and it just looks like she's playing herself and not like the character. And so it's like, why wouldn't you just have her do a cameo as herself? Like, have somebody else play the, the lead role. It wouldn't have mattered because the fucking script for this had to be probably the hottest trash literally anyone's seen in a really long time, right? But have someone else play the lead actress have addison ray play whoever the fuck courtney kardashian was supposed to be why wouldn't you do that like so that it makes sense like because i just i truly could not i like i searched along the planets to figure out like why why chloe was there like i i i was like what is she doing and the thing is i don't even feel like she was chloe kardashian she was just like some other character it's like so why is this a, why, why are we? Okay, I'm gonna go sit down, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make waves, y'all just let me, I'm sorry. So it ends with him like riding on horseback. I don't really know, but like the acting is really bad. The storyline, bad. It's just like, it, it, to me it wasn't even like a good, bad movie, which I love those. This was like, I just felt like so embarrassed watching it. Like when I was watching it, I just felt embarrassed for everybody being in it. Like, I know, they got a check, so they weren't embarrassed of getting their checks. I know, like, oh, no, they weren't embarrassed picking up that check. I know they weren't, just still, let me like, <laughs> please let me live in the fantasy world where like people care about their acting craft. Thank you, appreciate it. Have a good day, you know what I mean? Like, let me, just let me live in my false reality. It's fine, you don't have to, you don't have to take it from me, but. I just felt like there was no real reason for this to be this bad and it was like a movie like nobody asked for this <laughs> nobody literally no one was sitting there being like do you know what we need a gender bending version updated of she's all that and here's the thing like obviously today she's all that looks terrible right um because of how everything was portrayed the toxic relationships all of these things uh the bets <laughs> viewing women as property not cool let's be real for a second just like one second un segundo let us be real for that moment in time and know and understand that you know money is king so like knowing that i'm like okay yeah i know you wanted to make money got it but it was almost like whoever wrote this script wrote it like as the movie was being filmed, <laughs> like, oh, let's, um, uh, uh. but it just, it didn't make any sense. And I felt like it wasn't very interesting. And the characters were just like caricatures of people. And at least the original She's All That were like, these are people. And like the caricatures were done, like Matthew Lillard's character. I thought like the whole point was like to be exceedingly funny about the fact that Matthew Lillard, you know, was on Real World Road Rules. Because back then, that was like right about the time when being on those shows was like getting you traction to do other things. Like Eric Nees, you know, went on to have like a, a very like successful-ish career on, on MTV for a while after having been on Real World. But I felt like they were still trying to create real people out of the other characters. But this felt like everyone was a character of a person right down to like Manny wearing another horrible wig if there's one thing Netflix loves it's terrible wigs and then she cuts his hair and they actually have a line in this movie that I am honestly I'm disgusted by it because they're going to like a great Gatsby party I guess I feel like I don't know for some reason he's wearing a suit 
and I think it was a great Gatsby party. Any who's it, he's wearing the suit and he's like, he says something about how he can't get, how he's, how he can't get over this or whatever. And she says, get used to it because you're hot now. The way I would have murdered this woman, like, mm -mm, no. Like, bitch, did you just tell me I'm hot now? <laughs> we are gonna have words, okay. Like so many words, it's gonna be, mm. Listen, the fight is going to be epic. I'm not, like, she gonna get jacked up. I, like, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, girl, but you about to catch these hands telling me I'm hot now. Like, it's not like the boy wasn't, unattra wasn't unattractive in the first place. He was a good looking guy, you know what I mean? He was a good looking guy, he just, um, I guess wore clothes that weren't great. He was a, they made him into a horse girl. Um, <laughs> like it's very weird, but they made him into a horse girl. He loves horses. Uh, and like, he's also like anti-technology. Like, oh, I don't fuck around with technology because like, why? And it's weird because like, even, even, I, it just doesn't even make sense for really anybody his age to have a flip phone, but okay, maybe they're making a comeback and I just wasn't paying attention. You know what I mean? Like, that's okay. Like, that's fine. I'll be all right. You know what I mean? And so they like, they make this effort to truly be like, no, but he's not like other guys. Like they basically just turned him into not like other guys. I feel like these movies do not understand that if they're gonna update the premise, um, they need to like really update the premise because what they did with Lainey was like, she's not like other girls. <laughs> she paints and wears overalls. Her hair is in a ponytail, it's disgusting. We can't abide by this kind of lifestyle. She is gross, right? And I feel like if you wanna make a gender bending, um, he's all that, first of all, why not just make everyone gay? Everyone, just, it's a gay story. Gay love story, I'm cool with that. Um, also, if you wanna incorporate modern technology, do it in a really natural way, not like a weird, super freaky way that makes everyone uncomfortable. I feel like we were all uncomfortable. Like, I feel like anybody who watched it was like, I, I feel uncomfortable by what's happening in this movie. Me too, child. It's kinda embarrassing that y'all know my secret. It's like, when I'm not watching horror, I'm watching terrible rom-coms. <laughs> but anyways, I just feel like, you know, the, the writing was bad. Like just even trying to write these characters, just, it wasn't going well. Like, I just feel like you didn't really get to know anybody in the story. And like, when old girl is betraying her, like, I forgot what she, who she was and why she was in this movie. Like, and like, there's like, like there's the dialogue is so bad. Cause like, there's a point. Cause like, I basically Addison has like a meltdown on TikTok, on a TikTok live. <laughs> and she like, looks at old, like the, the bad girl who's like, I'm jealous or whatever her problem was. And she's like, you could have, you could have stopped recording, but you just kept going. Y'all, the dialogue was just absolutely unreal. It was just, it was so bad that it just like made it, like I felt so uncomfortable, so uncomfortable watching it. I just, I was like, please somebody, help me. And I, I was doing it to myself. You know what I mean? I was, I was doing it to myself because I am a masochist and I obviously hate myself. So that ended however it ended. I like, I feel like they got together and like now she rides horses and goes on um, rich bitch trips with her boy toy. And that's, that was that movie. Now I have a couple little like quick hits that I'm going to hit you up with. So here we go. All right. While we wait for my lips to dry, I have some quick media things that have happened that I just wanted to talk about right quick. First of all, for those of you that don't know, OnlyFans said psych and uh, it's back. It's, it's, it's back. So take that lobbyists. Let sex work be legal and safe. Thank you. Also, ha 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 ha, Fast and Furious is now the second highest grossing film of 2021 with 700 million worldwide. Listen, I know it wasn't the best one. I haven't seen it yet, but I, I like, I know it wasn't the best one in the franchise, but we all know, like, like I'm gonna be happy about it. When I finally do decide to watch it, I'm gonna be happy with whatever's happening in, happening in it because if those cars are flying, I am living life. 
Also, if you didn't know, the new lip color for 2021 is going to be mauve. So like, here's what you can find. This is why, like these trend people kill me. I'm also very, very excited about <laughs> Double Shot at Love 3 is coming back so that maybe Vinny can find his um, princess, his true love, uh, because uh, Polly D did. Polly D found his, his love on Shot at Love, so now they're gonna try to do it for Vinny. I'm gonna obviously watch it and report back on it. Another super fun thing, is that Deb is going to be the dark passenger. Also not a fun thing. So for those of you who like Dexter, the news came out that Deb is now going to be his dark passenger instead of his father. And listen, as long as they don't make it weird and incestuous, I'm cool with that. But if they kiss, I'm done with the show. I'm like, I'm gonna be done. We don't want that in our lives. Point blank and period. Please let me be free. That is not okay behavior. Thank you. A and E is going to be having an interview with the vampire series. So we'll see how that goes because are we ready for another vampire series? Mm. We'll find out. It's super weird Audra news. <laughs> like, I was so excited about this and I'm sad that I missed it. But the Union Pacific's Big Boy Locomotive is going to be returning back to Kansas next week. And I missed it. It was here, it, it was like in my county, and I missed it. And I'm like still upset that I didn't get to see it. Like I wanted to see it. It was only gonna be here for like 30 minutes. And it's just, it was a big deal. It's a bit like it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's cool. Like it's a it's a big train, and I was like really wanting to see it. Y'all don't even understand. Like I live near a train track and like it's very exciting for me like every time the, and like I can tell you like oh I'm like by the like sounds that a bit was like Meh. like I can tell you which ones are like flying through like no slowdown they're just like whoosh, whoosh, by the sound it's very it's it's very ASD of me. Anyway that is it that's the video if y'all enjoyed this I'm gonna be trying to do these whenever I do them, honestly. But these are the videos where I just like gather up all my media sources, tell you what I've been watching. It, it was it was a lot of awful. Um, this These weren't even so bad, they're good. They were just bad and I'm sad because I like wanted them to like hit that point. Any who's it's, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a flavor, give this video a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can do what she does best, which is push me further down into the algorithm so that I can continue to do what? whatever the fuck I want to. And as usual, huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays, yeah. All right, without y'all, I truly wouldn't be able to create videos specifically like this, where I just get to have fun and do some content that I wanna do. Uh, and you'll also definitely keep the bats and the belfry and the spiders firmly ensconced in their webs. And for all of you who like, share, watch, subscribe, I appreciate you as well. And you know the drill. It costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul. Because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure as hell going to make fun of yours. A lot. <laughs> also, I'm going to snatch it. Sorry. <laughs> I've thrown up all my other souls. Like, so we're good. I'm just kidding. I didn't throw up any souls. Like, I kept them firmly in my belly. It's fine. And that's why she's so big. All right, until next time, XOXO. <laughs> Got the girl. It's in here. Yep, there it is. So embarrassing. You're a disgrace. Move on with our lives. <laughs> like, you are a disgrace because you couldn't find a thing. Oh, okay. You know what? There's no need for that kind of uh, negative self-talk. <laughs> Oh, it choked on throat snot. Disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this, but I like to waggle my tongue like that. Can you believe my lips are actually shaped like this? Like, bitch, fucking magic. Who, who are you to tell me not to waggle my tongue? Nobody's telling you not to waggle your tongue, Audra. Are we human? Oh, we dancers. Okay, we're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. Pushing ourselves too far? Don't make any damn sense to do so. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm such a weirdo. Bye. <laughs>